Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the flight test of the Bayang Toys uh, X21. Today is uh, a bit uh, windy, actually very windy and uh, I don't have any kind of uh, natural cover such as trees. It's a very large open field so it should be interesting. Uh, first modification I did to the quadcopter is that I have removed uh, the Wi-Fi FPV camera and installed the uh, GitHub Git2 activated gyro stabilization. Also added this piece of paper here because the original support is very flimsy and it's very shaky so you probably will get some kind of this type of footage so that is to be upgraded and somehow uh, uh, made to work better. So that is uh, first of one of my cons and I haven't flown it yet so we'll see if uh, uh, we can get some decent footage or not. Uh, I have already calibrated the compass, so I will skip that. So it will not be very boring to watch. And uh, I'm just going to try to fly it. Uh, also, I'm going to try to use follow me mode to see if that also works or not. So let's see how this goes. So this is uh, over. So as you can see it's uh, very easy to maneuver, very stable, uh, it has currently 10 uh, GPS satellites, so it's doing very good. Uh, I'm surprised about its uh, climbing speed which is very fast if I kick the throttle up. It has a, real, a really good punch so uh, I wasn't expecting uh, such kind of uh, punch. And uh, it's now, I believe, in a uh, low mode, and yes, I can make it a lot more faster, so I can uh, change the speed, the tilting speed, and that is even more impressive, as you can see, now it's going against wind. So let's try now to enable the follow mode and uh, hope for the best. So I'm going to orient it to look at me and I'm going to kick the follow me mode. And it's now in follow me mode, so let's see. Does it come after me? Yes, it does. Let's see if it goes sideways. It's doing it very fine, I must say. It's a bit uh, wobbly because uh, it acts very fast and then uh, overshoots a bit and compensates but uh, definitely 
it does follow me and it does it pretty good so uh, yes the double GPS version works with the transmitter because probably it has a GPS inside here because it was a mystery uh, why it's a dual GPS system some people were saying that it has a GPS inside the quadcopter uh, dual uh, GPS type signal like uh, G normal GPS and GLONASS but no it needs a second device so it can track it and that is the GPS antenna inside the, the transmitter because I'm not using a mobile phone so it does not have GPS from that so this thing climbs like mad it's really impressive and it's doing very great it still has plenty of battery which is surprising because it has a rather small battery from what I'm used to and let's take a panorama around I'm going to try to yaw it slow and steady I'm uh, flying line of sight now because I don't have any kind of FPV installed on it you can also fly it by telemetry uh, it's other accurate, accurate here you have uh, uh, height and distance so I don't have to watch at it uh, I can uh, get it down to earth gently by just looking at this small LCD screen here which is very nice because sometimes you can uh, lose uh, track of it even on FPV or line of sight and uh, with telemetry you can uh, still orient yourself you can see if the quadcopter is going further or getting nearer it's also very smooth as you can see it's a very smooth flyer no drama, no shakes, no wobbles no uh, toilet boil effect nothing it's, it's just a very smooth and happy flyer so I believe this thing will do very nice with a proper uh, gimbal at least a 2-axis gimbal to go on, uh, on cheap way and with an FPV maybe goggles or monitor it will be an amazing uh, flyer at uh, this amount of money uh, I didn't expect it to be sincere because uh, when I have first opened the box uh, it was looking kind of uh, cheap uh, you can see this uh, toy grade transmitter uh, that uh, camera support is rather toyish so you actually don't uh, don't expect to get this uh, smooth flyer and a nice performance uh, out of that box so I'm currently changing my opinion on it and I'm declaring this a very nice flyer and uh, very easy to, to start with so it's uh, also good for beginners That's the weather, it's autumn, so now the flying days will be shorter and lesser. So definitely this thing does very nice. Um, I must say that uh, although the voltage is reported here correctly, uh, it also shows a uh, battery signal level which is not correlated with it so I'm at 11 volts with all this play and uh, it's still showing full, uh, full uh, bars so uh, that's not uh, very very accurate at least it's not working but the voltage is uh, showing properly uh, you also get a signal indicator but uh, that one uh, hasn't dropped at all I haven't flown it too far away I will try some uh, more uh, long-range flights with it this is more of an accommodation flight 
to see how uh, how it goes to get some footage and to get some uh, first opinions it's nice that uh, that you also get uh, a working uh, compass meter here so it's showing that it's going east north and uh, it also combines northeast uh, southeast southwest northwest so uh, you know uh, you know it's heading without seeing it so that's really nice So now I'm going to land it because it's starting to flash and I'm at 10.8 uh, volts so the battery is almost over. I'm going to try to do it as gently as possible. And we have touched down, and uh, that went much more better than uh, I have expected. Uh, I'm really impressed by it, so I'm going to uh, disconnect the battery first to be sure it does not want to fly away. Always disconnect the battery first and then shut down the transmitter because on uh, this type of uh, GPS. Uh, quads turning off the transmitter may signal the drone that uh, you need to get back right home and it can jump into the air usually it doesn't happen but it's better to be safe than sorry and now I can turn off the transmitter also I'm going to stop the camera recording and hopefully we got that on and uh, I hope that we got some nice footage. So this was the flight test. Uh, happy to report that it's much better than expected. So after all this seems like a good quad and uh, I'm upgrading it from toy quad to uh, something better than that. Until next time, bye bye!